I think some of you guys are right. I think maybe I was wrong about the RTX 4080. Yesterday, I posted a video, five reasons why it's a bad idea, but many of you gave some actual real world scenarios where it works for you. And I started to think and think, and I think you might be right. Maybe I was wrong about my opinion on the 4080. We're judging it a little bit too harshly, viewing Nvidia as always, you know, gouging us and being too expensive. <laughs> So now I think I have a much better opinion of the 4080. After reading your comments, we're gonna go through them. And by the end of the video, I think you're also gonna have a very balanced view of the 4080. Tech Wando, he said, I'm testing both 4080 and 4090 right now with a 13700K. I'm actually keeping the 4080 simply because of power draw and heat and $400 difference. Plus the value of the 90 is higher. Can't find one here in Massachusetts for anything less than $1,800. So there's a large gap. 4080 is still a great card, just a bad price for an 80 class. If they called it a 4080 Ti, then I think people probably wouldn't be so mad. So those are actually really good points. The 4080 is much more power efficient and usually runs much cooler, even though the cooler size is typically the same as they share many with the 4090, but it does have a much lower TDP and that makes a big difference. A lot of times people don't need that extra performance and $400 more minimum for that 4090. That's what he's talking about here. It's hard to find one for 1600, so it could be even more. Like he said, most of them are $1,800. So in that case, and we're talking about first the US, and I'm gonna talk about other comments from other countries where the price gap is even bigger, this actually makes a tremendous amount of sense. And if you like GPUs, including the 4080, remember to subscribe, smash that like button. Let's take a look at this next user here, Latin Legacy. He said he went for the 4080 because it's a stepping stone for NVIDIA's next generation. 4080 is more than enough for 4K 60 FPS, and the 4090 would just be overkill for it. I kind of agree with him there. The 4080 does really hit that 4K 60. 4090, for people that want to do maybe 4K 120, which definitely is a thing now, but you're going to have to pay that price. And don't forget, 4K 60 is even hard on 4090 if you turn on ray tracing and you really max out some of these games so it's not always that the 4080 will do all of the settings you may have to compromise more than the 4090 but then you are going to be saving a significant amount of money so here's another user from the uk the ice switch the 4090 founders edition in the uk sold out and that's what he wanted but then still bought the 4080 coming from a 2080 that's more than enough power they skipped 30 series for a 40 I'm sure it's worth the 1,200 pounds in British money, which is close enough to the price that the 4080 would be here in the US. So that's another great point. If you're coming from a 20 series GPU, the 4080 is gonna be a huge upgrade. One of my points in the video yesterday was that 4080 wasn't that big of an upgrade if you already had like a 3080 Ti or a 3090. It was incremental in some games it does well, but if you're coming from like a 2080, 2070, or even a 2080 Ti, the 4080 is going to be a huge boost in performance, not to mention that it's also going to have DLSS 3.0 for games that you play that may take advantage of that. So very valid point, I think. It's a big performance jump for people that skipped RTX 3000. He wasn't the only user with an older GPU. Take a look at this. This is Stu. He said, just bought the Asus Tough 4080 for $1,199. His Asus ROG Strix 1080 is going to be seven years old soon. So they had to really update at this time. He thinks he's going to be good until the 7080. Well, the other user, ca the captain, he responded, I feel you. I went from a GTX 970 to a 4080. He says he can't even imagine the power difference. That is very significant. For these users that are coming from a 10 or 9 series GPU, the 4080 might as well be a 4090 because the, the difference is going to be massive. So that's one of the things that maybe I was wrong about in yesterday's video. Not everybody is upgrading from RTX 3000. I viewed it as somebody who maybe who had a 3090 Ti or something like that. Then yeah, it's not really worth that big upgrade. You already spent a lot not too long ago for like a 3090, 3090 Ti, but 
But for somebody like this, coming from a 970 or even a 1080 Ti six, seven years ago, definitely going to be a huge performance boost. And to them, that price may not be as big of a factor as it is for somebody who's been upgrading every single year. It might be something that they don't upgrade for another five or six years. So then it starts to equal out to a much better value if you spread it out across many years like that. And then here, the captain also says in his country, the 4080 is about $1,600. And then the 4090 is $2,600. He said he went with the 4080. So that's going to be a big point anywhere outside of the US, the price delta between a 4080 and 4090, especially since the 4090 has been hard to get. Um, some countries didn't sell out of them because people weren't paying those high prices. That's going to be a big factor. In the US, I was comparing like the best case scenario of like a 1549 4080 Strix, which was available, and the 1599 4090. I've seen them on sale, luckily at Micro Center side by side. So somebody technically could have made that decision, but most people people don't have a micro center that's going to be like 0.01%. So more realistically in other countries you're going to have a 5 6 maybe a $1000 difference between a 4080 and a 4090 and if you want a high end GPU that may be way too expensive. Maybe you don't want a 4070 Ti or in some of these countries it's hard to find a 7900 XTX and sometimes it's just as expensive or more than something like a 4080. So that's completely valid in the country that you're in. You could be paying a whole lot more of a difference making the 4080 actually a good value for you because you can't get it cheaper. So that's something that maybe I should have talked about more yesterday. So that's definitely going to be a pretty good point as well. It's going to be a much better value than maybe some of the theoretical cheap MSRPs that maybe we're lucky to have in the US specifically. And then this comment is very interesting as well. It points to the performance of the 4090 and 4080. Klissus, he says, unless you have a 4K 144 Hertz monitor, owning the 4090 is point the 4080 is actually a good buy because it's a significant upgrade from the 3080. He knows that because that's what he upgraded from. It has DLSS 3, frame generation, draws less power than the 3080, better than buying a whole new computer with a 4090. You have to upgrade the motherboard power supply if you didn't build your computer in the last two years. So that's something we kind of touched on before as well. What he probably means by the power supply and motherboard, the 4090 is known to limit a lot of performance. If you use a cheaper CPU, you really need to be on the latest generation if you're doing 1440p with a 4090 and even 4K, it could also bottleneck depending on the game. So that means you may have to upgrade to a newer generation generation with the 4080 maybe a little bit easier to get away with an older system and of course it's much more power efficient so you're not going to need a huge power supply like you probably will with a 4090 even though something reasonable like a, a thousand watts will be fine for a 4090 850 or something like that would be better for a 4080 so you don't have to go nearly as crazy but that is a pretty good point unless you have the setup of 4k 144 hertz or 120 hertz monitor you're not really going to take full advantage of the 4090 you might as well go with a 4080 especially for 1440p and then you come back to that price delta $400 difference MSRP maybe it's worth it for some people and it's more than enough performance and then what else are you going to get the 4070 Ti is not really a 4k GPU unless you just want to do 1440p that's going to be your only other option and that's a few hundred dollars cheaper than the 4080 so maybe we're looking at the 4070 Ti wrong as well most gamers and reviewers have been very harsh on the price of the 4070 Ti. And actually, I have them testing one in my system here that I bought open box for significantly cheaper than MSRP. And even then, some people didn't really think it was worth it. So that's another GPU that I'm sure you can draw the same arguments between the 4080 and the 4070 Ti as some people are making between the 4080 and 4090. You just basically go down the price class and go down the performance class one tier, and it's basically the same argument. But reading the these comments and many people have bought the 4080 even though it still is in stock and it hasn't been as popular people have still bought it and it's very valid decisions for each individual that's why I wanted to say I'm wrong about the video yesterday I should have maybe been a little bit more balanced in it but that's why I'm making the video today to know that there is another balanced viewpoint and if you bought a 4080 don't feel bad it's still a great GPU and depending on what your market is like for GPUs it's probably the best decision you could make anyway 
anyway if you want a better GPU, a newer generation GPU, without having to spend a significant amount more on a 4090 or have to stay with an older generation GPU. But at the end of the day, the GPU pricing is still an issue because we have to have these type of conversations. Hopefully it improves in the future, but you see a GPU like a 4080 should be something that people enjoy and something people are excited about. But Nvidia's pricing certainly have made many people feel guilty about buying the 4080. So hopefully today's video sheds some light on some of the positive aspects. At the end of the day, just enjoy the game and it's still gonna be amazing performance. And over time, that difference kind of equals out anyway, even though we hyper-focus sometimes on the pricing, that's really the reality of the market that we're in right now. All right, guys, so remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.